Hey guys, let me show you a very easy way to color grade your skin tone. So the first thing you do are uh, duplicate the background layer and then come to filter, camera roll filter. Right here in the camera roll filter, you're going to look for an area in the image that's supposed to be gray. Um, the easiest place to spot on a portrait like this is the eyes. So take your um, hand picker tool, the white balance tool, click on it. And then sample the eye area like this, and your image color correction is going to be fixed. So here was the before. You can see there's a lot of magenta in the skin in the before. Here's the after. Others magenta is gone. Once you do that, you come back into Photoshop for color grading. But before we color grade this image, let's smooth out the image. To easily smooth out the image, we are going to use the auto fix effects, and there's the action right here. Just click on the auto fix and with just this one click this image is going to become smooth like this just one click here was the before and here is the after and to dodge this image with one click or also use the auto pop lumi with just one click this is the result we get here was the before and here is the after the before the image is flat the after you can see a small dimension to the image before after before, after, after. So once you've done this, now you can use lots to color grade your image, or you can manually color grade your image. To manually color grade, we are going to use a selective color adjustment, and we are going to work with the red colors and the yellow colors. So in the red colors, if you want to add more rest to your image, you are going to reduce the cyan in the image. If you want to add more, remove red from your image that they were adding cyan. I'm going to move it all the way to the right, like this. And now, this is the magenta button. You can add more magenta or remove the magenta. Add the yellow button. You can add more yellow or you can reduce the yellow. Now, to can tell you a specific value to input into this, uh, this sliders right here because it's going to fire from image to image. What you need is to use your eye to look at your image and determine which color is too much or which color you want to favor, which color you want to pop. And you are going to pop that color right here using the sliders. Now the red color is more intense. The yellow is less intense for dark skin. If it's for your fair skin or Caucasian skin, there's going to be more of uh, the yellows in the skin tone. But for images like this, you are going to have less yellow. So uh, you can still make adjustments like this to turn the image. Now you can see this is before and this is after. We've not done too much to this image. But if you want a faster method, uh, you are going to use skin tone lots. So come right here. Create a color lookup. Load 3D. Go to the folder where your lots are located and then load the skin tone lots into your image. Uh, find the one that works best for you. If you don't have skin tone lots, check the link in the description for uh, free lots. I have free lots on my page, so uh, there's a link in the description to give you that. So once you apply the lots that you want, you reduce your opacity to match the image. And now let's take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before and here is the after. From here you can go on to do whatsoever you like. But you can see how easy it is. Don't forget how we smooth our image. We use the auto fix effects. So uh, if you turn off all these layers, here's the before applying the auto fix. See how rough the image is looking. Here's after applying the auto fix. With just one click. Don't forget just one click. It works like magic. So get it right now. Here was the before applying the auto fix. Here's after applying the auto fix. Here's, here's before applying the auto pop. Here's after applying the auto pop. And these actions are just one click actions. Uh, it's going to fasten your image and give you superb results. Retain skin textures and pop your image. Here is after color grading. So check the link in the description to get the auto fix effects, to get the auto pop, and also to get the free lot that you can use to color grade your image. Please like this video for more helpful tips, tricks, and tutorials. 
leave your feedback in the comment section subscribe to this channel for more helpful tip for more free lots for more amazing tutorials happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial